What's up everyone, we're back again with some more live video game hunting. You know the routine by now, let's just get straight out there and see what we found.
Okay, so those first two pickups from last week uh, just hit a couple of the local places. Didn't really get much time to do too much on them. Uh, but first off, we picked up a copy of Uncharted 4 at Thief's End for the PS4. Uh, these were all five euro. Uh, we got Batman Arkham Knights for the PS4. I also got a copy of Overwatch. That's gone already. We've already traded it off. Uh, not my sort of thing. Anything that's like online only based, I'm not going to play it. Uh, then in the second stop, uh, picked up, it was Cooking Mama Tree on the DS, not one for the collection, definitely a trader, uh, but I think we got six euro in trade for that. But when I was buying it, uh, it was priced one euro, the woman said that they were three for the price of two, so I just went back, there was a Mushy Monsters there, uh, and another copy of Play. So uh, we paid two euro for those three, and 15 for the three PS4 games, so 17 in total, and we've got already got back 19 euro in trade credit, and those two PS4 games for the collection, so it was a good start. Uh, yesterday then, I spent the day driving around Drogheda. It was a bit dry, uh, didn't even see that many FIFAs in places, one or two on the usual. But um, yeah, got a few bits anyway. Uh, one stop picked up a copy of Smackdown vs Raw 2006 for Europe. Uh, just one for the shelf, nothing mad. And then literally the last stop of the day, we picked up a few games. Um, got a copy of Red Faction 2 for the PS2. Uh, this is nicely complete actually a few of these were um, Came with the manual really really clean copies and paid two for that I uh, paid two euro for this Agent on the fire for the ps2 Again really nice condition on that uh, Just picked up a copy of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. This one was three euro about what you pay for it in CEX But again, it's a nice clean copy. So one for the collection and then Another one that's probably about what it's worth. We paid three euro for a copy of Gears of War 3. Uh, didn't actually have this one in the collection already. Uh, I thought it was really cool. I had the manual, but it still had like in the plastic the stickers that originally came with it. So that's pretty nice. We'll do something with those. Uh, and then the only other thing I picked up while we were out and about was this Mario Kart. It's like a thousand piece puzzle. Uh, we can't really do thousand piece puzzles. We don't really have the uh, attention span for them. But um, we might put this one together, so I think that'd be pretty cool to, like, if all the pieces are in there, first of all, they have to count them out. But, um, I don't know, I was thinking about if we put it together, maybe sticking it on, like, a piece of card or a piece of wood and then mounting it on the wall somewhere in the game room. Just thought it might look pretty nice, so hopefully they're all in there and we can do that. Uh, other than that, I just did one online hunt. Uh, there's a website here, I think it might be in the UK as well, because there's a few UK charity shops on it, but it's called Thriftify. Um, basically charity shops just send in what they have and I think they just put images up, price things out and take care of the order and then the charity shops send it direct. So I don't order from them too often because unless you actually find stuff um, from the same charity shop you get charged individual postage and it's like 4 75 I think. Um, so I just happened to find 5 games that were in the one charity shop so we only had to pay the 4 75 postage all in. Um, now this is a bit of a shot in the dark, I, I have it sort of open but I haven't gone through them yet. Uh, the last time I ordered a few bits. Um, I think I got a copy of a Siphon Filter 2 for the PS1, it was missing a disc, no manual, the disc that was in it was in bits. Uh, so that's where you take the gamble with these, like you can get some good deals, some of the stuff they have is priced ridiculous. Um, but if you get them at a good price, and you get lucky and you get nice condition discs, it's probably a good place to go and just maybe get started, you know, looking to pick up a few games for your collection. Uh, but the first one here is Left 4 Dead 2. On the 360 i'll put all the prices up there on the bottom and can't really remember what i paid individually i know i paid about 30 euro all in for these five games uh, but that one was complete uh, that's a nice one for the collection picked up a copy of injustice gods among us for the ps4 just to have a play of um a copy of just dance 2014. this one this one's nicely complete i think there's actually a couple of bonus discs in there okay so there's a copy of Just Dance 3 and Just Dance 2015 as well. That are disc only. That's mad. Is there any extra manuals written? No, but that's gas. Like there's me complaining about only getting <laughs> the one disc the last time when we got two bonus discs this time. Uh, so this one was just a trader as it was. So we'll flip these two discs as well and that'll probably make up even more money there. So that's deadly and delighted with that. Um, picked up a Lego Lord of the Rings for the DS. We might keep it in play, but we might trade it. we wait and see. I think that one was like two euro or something. And then the last one, uh, he came up in the last video as well, but we got a copy of Sly Tree, Honor Among Thieves. Uh, this one's not complete, unfortunately. Uh, but the disc is nice, so another one to add to the collection. That's another decent priced one. Uh, I think I paid, that was probably the dearest one of the lot. I think I paid nine, but it, like, it easily sells for double that from CEX. Uh, so good one to add to the collection. Actually, one thing that came up in the comments uh, in the last video when I picked up the first Sly, was that Sly Raccoon here, so I presume it's Sly Raccoon in Europe, so basically the PAL version of it, Sly Raccoon. Uh, but in America it's Sly Cooper. 
So if anyone knows why, maybe you can leave a comment down below. Um, because like, we don't have raccoons in Ireland. So, and raccoons are native to North America. So if anything, it should be Sly Raccoon in America and Sly Cooper here. So I don't get it. So please, if someone knows the reason behind that, let us know. So yeah, that's it for this one. Um, I did mention CEX. I did trade a few bits. I traded that Overwatch. I already got rid of that Cook and Mama. Uh, it was a Moshi Monsters so we play. And now the other stuff I had, I think they literally took like two games off me. I think I had seven in total. And they gave me five back. I said they were too scratched. So um, I don't know. It's nice to know that someone in CEX has some sort of uh, standards in terms of scratch discs. Because compared to some of the stuff I've gotten off them in the post, like these were brand new. Um, so look, we'll maybe in the next video, we'll try to bring up another CEX. See how we get on. Uh, so we'll be back again the usual another couple of weeks hopefully for some more game hunting I'm gonna try and get a couple of different types of videos out uh, I've had a few people contact me I was talking to one lad I think Tony his name was on Instagram he's a sound chap um, but he's getting into retro game uh, collecting and just thought maybe it'd be an idea if I put out a little guide on how I hunt for games here in Ireland um, you know what I look for pricing wise and stuff like that so that's why it's actually a good time to show off that trip to find that online shop it's a good place to start, just you know, if you kind of go through and have a look at what they have, what they're pricing for, what it would sell uh, elsewhere for, what you get in trade, just to start getting ideas on uh, on prices and stuff like that. Uh, so I might do a video on that, I might even do a few shorts or something on different topics. Um, because I do know, I said it in the last video, like, uh, I've always just assumed people watching know how much these things are worth, because a lot of people uh, that follow the channel uh, sort of do their own thing as well. But yeah, that's something to keep an eye out for over the next few weeks anyway, so... Once again, just thanks a million for watching. Thanks to all the new subscribers. We're over 200 now, which is absolutely mental. Uh, so, look, just look after yourselves. Um, we'll see you soon, and thanks for watching. Cheers.